spent more or less. We've talked a little bit about how to find the percent of a number. So for the part A of these examples, we're going to first start by finding 12% of 500. Remember, to do that, I need to convert my percentage into a decimal. So I divide by 100 or move my decimal place two spots to the left. The word of is multiplication, so I'm finding 0 0.012 or 0.12, sorry, times 500. And that gives me a value of 60. In order to find 12% more than 500, I want to take this amount that I figured out in part A, and I want to add it to 500. So that'll give me 560. And in order to find what 12% less than 500 is, I'm going to take my 12% that I figured out already, and this time I'm going to subtract it from 60 to give me 440. I'm going to do a similar method for part 2, or example 2. I want to find 8% of $250. I'm going to start by converting my percentage into a decimal number. Of is multiplication, and I'm multiplying by 250. So 0 0.08 times 250 is equal to $20. I have to include my units in my final answer. If I want to find out what 8% less than $250 is, I want to take my $20 and I'm subtracting it from my $250 to give me $230. And if I wanted to know what 8% more than $250 is, I would take my 250 and I would add my $20 to give me $270 as my final answer. I'm going to do the same strategy for example number three. This time I'm finding 3.5% of $88. So I first start by converting my percentage into a decimal number. So divide by 100 or move that decimal place two spots to the left. So zero decimal zero three five and I'm multiplying that by 88 to give me three dollars and eight cents. So if I want 3.5 percent more than 88 dollars I'm taking my 88 and I'm adding it to my 3.08 That gives me $91.08. And if I wanted 3.5% less than $88, I take my 88 and I subtract my $3.08. And that gives me $84.92. So let's figure out another way to answer these questions. So how could I figure out what 12% more than 500 would be? Well, I don't want to do the same thing where I want to calculate how much, um, what 12% is first and then add it or subtract it. So in this case, I might figure out what this means. So my original value, is 100, 100%. And I want 12% more than that. So I want to find out what 112% is of 500. So what is 112% of 500? Well, I'm going to take my percentage, change it into a decimal number by dividing by 100, and I'm multiplying that by my 500, and that gives me 560, which is exactly what I had up there, but in a different format, right? I, I solved it using a different method. Now, what happens when I'm finding percent less of? Remember, my 500 is still at 100, and I want to subtract 12%. And 100 subtract 12 is 88. So I want to find 
of 500. So that's the same as finding 0.88 times 500, which is 440. Which again is the same as what we found up here, but using a different method. Sometimes using this method is a little bit uh, more efficient the more that we do this. So let's start by looking at example two. 8% less, well, I want to take 100 because that's what I'm starting with. My original amount is 100% and I'm subtracting 8%, which gives me 92%. So I want to find 92% of $250, which is the same as taking 0 0.92 times 250 which is $230. Again, the same amount that we found up there. If you're not getting the same amount, then you know you're doing something wrong. And 8% more, I start with my 100% of my original amount. I'm adding 8 this time to give me 108%. You might be able to do this in your head the more times that you do this. So I'm finding 108% of $250, or that's the same as taking 1.08 times 250, which is $270. And the last example, 3.5% more, well that's the same as taking 103.5, percent of $88. So you see that I've skipped this step already. It's the same as finding 1.035 times 88, which is $91.08. Again, the same amount that we figured out up there. And then if I wanted to take 3.5% less, I want to take my 100, I'm subtracting my 3.5, that gives me 96.5. The addition one is always easier to calculate in your head than the uh, subtraction one, so don't be um, too hard on yourself if you can't do this part in your head. So we're finding 96.5% of $88. That's the same as taking point. 965 and multiplying it by 88, which gives us $84.92. So that's a good little strategy to use when we're trying to find percent more or less of something. And we're going to deal more about the applications of percents um, later on in this unit. So let's just go through a couple more examples uh, before we end this lesson. How much more money is there now? So $150 is increased by 70%. So increase is the same as more, which means we are adding. So we are adding 70 to 100. So we are finding 170% of $150 which is the same as taking 1.70 times 150 or 150. So I'm changing my percentage to a decimal number by dividing by 100 or moving that decimal place two spots to the left and I'm multiplying that. So 1.70 times 150 is equal to $255. What happens if we are decreasing now? So decreasing means less, which also means subtract. So this time I'm taking my 100%, which is my original amount, and I'm subtracting 10%. So I want to find 90% of $27.50. That's the same as taking 0.90 
So changing my percentage to a decimal, I'm multiplying that by 27.50. And that gives me an answer of $24.75. You'll know if you're on the right track if your final answer is less than what you started with when you're decreasing, and if your answer is more than what you started with if you're increasing. So if you find that's not the case, you know you've made some mistakes somewhere, and you'll need to go back and check your steps. All right, example number six. $240 is decreased by 1.5%. So my original amount is 100%. I'm subtracting, because it's decreased, 1.5%. So I'm looking for 98.5% of my number. So I want 98.5% of $240, which is the same as taking 0.985 and multiplying that by 240. And that gives me a final answer of 236.4, but because I'm dealing with money, I need to include that zero at the end to make 40 cents. And last example, 49.99 is increased by 100%. So I'm starting with my original amount, which is 100, but I'm increasing it by another 100. So I'm actually needing to find 200%. of $49.99. So that's the same as finding two or multiplying two times $49.99. And two times $49.99 is $99.98. If you have any questions about this lesson, please reach out to me, send me an email, sign up for a virtual help session, and I will see you in the next lesson.